right, let's see who's next. Uh, number 43. Uh, thank you. Okay, let's just fill out these forms. Your name? Brother Martin. Occupation? I'm a monk. Oh, good, I almost wrote down Trekkie. <laughs> What brings you to the hospital, Brother Martin? Well, I, I don't enjoy talking about it, but uh, I hurt my knee dancing in my room. <laughs> Excuse me, but do I know you? You look awfully familiar. I get that a lot. People say I look like Wilma Flintstone. <laughs> Not when she was on the air, more the way she looks today. No, 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 I, I can see that too. But you remind me of, of, of someone I used to know a long time ago. I was cloistered in a uh, small monastery in St. Olaf, Minnesota. Where are we spring the ducks return? If we remember to throw out the corn, yeah. You know it? Well, I know it very well. I was born and raised in St. Olaf. Well, this is extraordinary. <laughs> Did you know an Ingrid Kerklevaner? You knew Ingrid? She must have been about 19 then. She worked in the kitchen in the monastery. Talk, 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 talk. That's all she ever did. We were a silent order, so that was very refreshing. I suppose it was. I mean, shortly after that, Ingrid died in childbirth. You know the story? Oh, yes. Uh, late one night, a basket was left at the local orphanage containing hickory smoked cheese, spicy <laughs> beef sticks, a baby, and some kind of crackers that didn't go with anything. <laughs> Eventually, the Lindstroms took the baby and the beef sticks, because that was the deal. <laughs> they named the baby Rose. Uh, did you know her, Rose Lindstrom? Know her? You're looking at her. The Lord certainly works in mysterious ways. What do you know about your father? There was a rumor that he was a clown with Ringling Brothers. <laughs> but I never believed it just seemed too much to hope for. <laughs> Did you know him, too? Oh, I've asked and I've asked and I've never found anybody who could tell me anything about him. Rose, I don't quite know how to put this, but I'm your father. My father? Mm -hmm. Oh, Rose, we've been waiting for you. Ro Rose! Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was distracted. You're not going to believe it. I just met my father. My natural father. He's alive? He's in Miami? He's an earthling? <laughs> he just walked in. He's a monk. Must be a pretty reformed order. <laughs> Come on, let's get you signed in. Rose, are you sure you're up to this? Honey, maybe you'd rather talk. Oh, I'm okay. I can do this job without thinking. Okay, name? Zulu, queen of the dwarf people. Uh, Rose, I don't think you are up to this. Now, where were we? Name. Rose Nyland. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm fine. Oh, here, Sophia, just sign this. I'll fill it in later. It's a standard consent form, releasing the hospital responsibility, like if you're missing any jewelry or they kill you. <laughs> getting out of here alive. Well, Ma, will you calm down? You are in the finest uh, hospital in Florida. Nothing is going to go wrong. Okay, Mrs. Petrillo. Let's see if we can get you patched up, huh? Thank you, Ross. Why is a woman your age moving furniture? For food. <laughs> right this way. You make me sick. Thank you.